Welcome to another episode of the Bug Bite, hosted by your truly Tech Coach Ralph, where we're in your twin. In today's episode, we are going to be talking about TikTok. Yes, the social media platform TikTok. And now that they're, they're being forced, yes, forced by the U.S. federal government to sell TikTok to a U.S.-based company. Hmm. Yeah. So that just recently happened. Uh, you know, Congress amazingly, you know, the Senate and the House amazingly agreed on something and sent it to President Biden's desk and they signed it. And for me, honestly, whenever, whenever all the politicians agree, I think there's something's wrong, all right? Something is definitely wrong when they all agree. So anyways, let's jump into this article to find out what the heck is going on and what, what sources allege that Byte, Byte Dance, the, the owner of TikTok, is planning to do if all else fails, right? So let's just jump right into it and find out. All right. So this article is brought to us by Reuters. And the title is, it's an exclusive. Exclusive ByteDance prefers TikTok to shut down if, in the US, if legal options fail, sources say. And this article is coming to us by Kane Wu and, Ju, and Julie Zhu. And it is so hong kong april 25th tiktok owner bite dance would prefer to shut down its loss making app rather than sell it if chinese company exhausts all legal options to fight legislation to ban the platform from app store in the u.s four sources said so it's four sources you know four sources the algorithm tiktok relies on for its operation are deemed core to ByteDance overall operations, which would make a sale of the app with algorithms highly unlikely, said the source close to the parent. TikTok accounts for a small share of ByteDance total revenue and daily active users, so the parent would rather have the app shut down in the United States in a worst case scenario than to sell it to a potential American buyer, they said. So think about this, right? Who is this going to hurt more? Bite dance or the American public? I mean, it might help the American public to some extent because they won't be, you know, I mean, no, because they're still going to go to find other places of like trash to follow because, you know, we're addicted to trash. But the, the part that's going to hurt, hurt the American public is I've seen job postings on online for TikTok where they're playing, you know, they're paying pretty hefty fees for US based jobs in the United States. I think around the Seattle area. From what I've seen, it could be other areas too, but I remember seeing some, some nice paying jobs in the Seattle area. So shutting down is going to take TikTok away from many users and they're going to force, they're going to force Google, Apple to remove the app from the app stores as well as do what they're going to force, isn't this ironic, right? They're going to force a company based out of China to do the same exact thing that they accuse China of doing. Well, I mean, China does it. We know that China does it. But so they're going to be doing, they're going to be forcing the American companies and the American public to do exactly what China does. So in China, you can't get to Google.com. They have their own version of it. There's like I don't even think you can get to Facebook for the most part. So now that means that they're going to force the American ISPs to block access to TikTok.com. And if you want to access TikTok, at least on the website, you're going to have to go through a VPN. And imagine this. Imagine this. What if now you go to a VPN to access TikTok and... Now, because you're an American accessing a banned application, a banned website, a banned platform, you're liable to fines or even imprisonment. I could see it coming. I could see it coming. How about that? How about that? So who is this really putting at risk? Because they said they would not operate, they would shut down in the U.S. They would not operate in the U.S. However, 
a VPN is not that hard to get. Are they going to ban VPNs in the U.S.? Are they going to fine you if they find out that you're using TikTok as a U.S. citizen? See, these things haven't been discussed. And, and if it's that this is a threat to national security, who deems, like, can't they just say, this, well, this American company is a threat to national security. We're going to shut it down, too, or, or, or we're going to force it to sell. We're going to force them to sell. Did you think about that? If you worked for a company, American or not, and they said, well, the work that you're doing is a threat to national security, so we're going to shut it down, and now everyone there, think about think. They're, indirectly, they're doing this to Apple, right? But they're, they're suing Apple for, for uh, what do they call it? Um, the Monopoly type stuff. Because Apple uses blue dots. And then for people who aren't using Apple, they get green dots on technology. It's like, give me a break here. So what's going to happen if now they either break up your company, they force it to sell, and now it's going to be under bad management or the company shuts down. You know, they, they might do an Atlas shrug and say, you know what, we're not going to do this here anymore. And now people lose their jobs. I definitely see it happening. Right? A shutdown would have a limited impact on ByteDance's business while the company would not have to give up its core algorithm, said the sources, who declined to be named as they were not authorized to speak to media. ByteDance declined to comment. It said late on Thursday in a statement posted to Tuacho, a member, a media platform it owns, that it had no plan to sell TikTok in response to an article by the information saying ByteDance is exploring scenarios for selling TikTok's U.S. business without the algorithm that recommends videos to TikTok users. In response to Reuters' request for comment, a TikTok spokesperson referred to ByteDance statement posted on Tutayo. On TikTok CEO Shu Zi Chu said on Wednesday that the social media company expects to win a legal challenge to block legislation signed into law by President Biden that he that he said would ban its popular shorts video app used by 170 million Americans. So, like I said earlier, on one hand, this is a good thing. But on the other hand, they're just going to go to some other social media app and waste their time to go um, go endless scrolling while they're sitting on the toilet and stuff like that. So does TikTok help them? Like, does it help the 107? Like, not really. It doesn't, it doesn't help them. It doesn't hurt them because they're just going to find another way to waste their time. <laughs> they're just going to find another way, another way to waste their time. But what about the people who make money off TikTok? What about the American content creators who make money off TikTok? However much it might be. I have no idea how much um, people make off TikTok. But for me, more importantly, what about the, the, the people who work for TikTok in the United States? I've seen positions where, where they're getting, like, like the positions are posted for $150,000 to $200,000. Maybe after we look at this, I'll pull up one of those job posts and see, see what it looks like. So, do I know the details about China and ByteDance and their relationship? Does that mean that absolutely no Chinese company can do business in the United States? Because of the possibility that we can think that there's national security implications? What are, like, okay, what are the national security implications? Got a bunch of people who know absolutely nothing about tech saying that, oh, you know, this is dangerous because, because they're based in China or something like that. I mean, it was a bit concerning when the CEO of Alibaba was missing for a little bit. I don't know. So let's keep going. Let's keep going. The bill passed. The bill, the bill passed overwhelmingly by the U.S. Senate on Tuesday is driven by widespread worries among U.S. lawmakers that China could access Americans' data or use the app for surveillance. Who has seen the algorithm 
that is being used for TikTok. And this is, so, and this is part of the fear mongering, right? This is part of the fear mongering. It's driven by widespread worries or fear amongst the U.S. lawmakers who know absolutely nothing about technology. Most of them, like, most of them know nothing about nothing, to be honest with you. But that China could, China could potentially access Americans' data or use the app for surveillance. Surveilling what? I don't know. The data of what? I don't know. So, my question would be, okay, what is the type, like, okay, what is the type of data could they access? Are they accessing socials? Or, or like, are, are you putting your social security number in TikTok? Let me know in the comments. Have you put your social security information in TikTok? What type of surveillance? Are they going to be, you know, listening to your, onto your conversations? Are they going to be looking through your camera? I'm curious to know what's, what's going to be happening. Biden's signings set a January 19th deadline for, the, for a sale one day before his term is poised to expire, but he could extend the deadline by three months if he determines privately owned ByteDance is making progress. I don't think, I don't think they're going to do anything. I don't think they're going to do anything. Because I'll be honest, if I was in their position, like reading this article, if I was in their position, I'd shut it down. I'm like, all right, fine. I'm going to, I'm going to, you you ever been playing basketball and, you know, the person gets mad or somebody gets mad and they kick the ball or, or the person who, whose ball it is, they, they, they get mad. They're like, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. They just take their ball and they, and they go home. I would take my ball and go home. Especially if, it's, if, it's, if I don't need it, you know? If it's something I'm, I'm using to practice my algorithm, I'm out. I mean, like, forget you, forget you 170 million users. Bydes has not publicly disclosed its financial performance or the financial details of any of its units. The company continues to make most of its money in China, mainly from its other apps such as Guwen, the Chinese equivalent of TikTok, separate sources have said. The U.S. accounted for about 25% of TikTok's overall revenues last year, said a separate source with direct knowledge. 25% is a lot. 25% is a lot. You know? But are you willing to sell, which is going to be at a, at a lower price point, to say, like, you're not... You can, you can continue to make 75% on a regular basis, or you can sell for a set price where you're not going to get anything out of it moving forward. Reuters interviewed more than half a dozen investment bankers who said it was tough to value how much TikTok is worth compared with like-for-like like competitors, Meta, Facebook, or Meta's Facebook, Snapchat, as TikTok's financials are not widely available nor easy to access. They want to see the books. So, ByteDance's 2023 revenue rose to nearly $120 billion in 2023 from $80 billion in 2022. Said two of the four sources, TikTok's daily active users in the U.S. also make up for just about 5% of ByteDance's DAUs worldwide. Daily active. So, in the U.S., right? To keep that in mind. In the U.S., TikTok's daily active users only make up about 5%. Would you sell if, if the threat was, would you sell if the threat was, you're going to lose 5%, so you have to sell everything, you know? So, algorithm not for sale. TikTok shares the same core algorithms with ByteDance's domestic app like short video platform Duin, three of the sources said. Its algorithm are considered better than ByteDance's rivals, such as Tencent, and I'm not even going to try that one, said one of them. It would be impossible to divest TikTok with its algorithms as their intellectual property license is, a register, is registered under ByteDance in China and thus difficult to, disen, to disentangle from the parent company, said the sources. And maybe, maybe they're actually after the 
algorithm and not necessarily TikTok. And that's why they're forcing the sell. Hmm. Did you think about that? Moreover, separating the algorithm from, uh, we read that already. Okay, so ByteDance would also, ByteDance also would not agree to sell one of its most valuable assets, its secret source to rivals said the four sources referring to the TikTok algorithm. In 2020, the Trump administration sought to ban TikTok and Chinese-owned WeChat, but was blocked by the courts. The short-form video app has since faced partial and attempted bans in the U.S. and other countries. China indicated it would likely it would be likely to reject a forced divestment of the TikTok app during a U.S. congressional hearing in March of last year. China will firmly oppose it. The forced sale of TikTok said a spokeswoman for the Ministry of Commerce at a news conference in Beijing in late 2023. The the sale or divestment of TikTok involves technology export and must go through administrative licensing procedures in accordance with Chinese law and regulations. China in 2020 unveiled the export control law and the final text extended the definition of controlled items from prior drafts. According to the state media, the amendment ensures that the exports of algorithms, sort, um, source codes, and similar data are subject to an approval process. Excluding algorithms, TikTok's main asset under uh, include user data and product operations and management, said uh, two of the people. Former U.S. Treasury, um, Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin has expressed interest in putting together an, invest, an investor group to try to buy TikTok. Buy deaths may serve to attract, any, to attract any buyer from U.S. TikTok's assets, excluding algorithms, said uh, the source said. So here's the, here's, the, here's the play, right? If you don't get the algorithm, then we don't want it. But we don't want to sell the, agro, the algorithm. We, we'll sell TikTok, but not the algorithm. Well, no, TikTok is the algorithm. Because you can buy TikTok and put and, and throw your own algorithm on it, but then you're just gonna like it's not gonna do anything for you. So the like I was saying earlier, the, is the play really to get the TikTok algorithm out from China and then use it against them? ByteDance backed by Sequoia Capital, uh Shisquihana International Group, KKR and Co. and General Atlantic. Uh, among others, was valued at $268 billion in December when it offered to buy back around $5 billion worth of shares from investors, Rogers reported at the time. So that is it for us for today. This was written, um, this was reported by Kain Wu and Julie Zhu. And additional reporting by Josh Yi in Hong Kong, Sheila Dang in Austin, Texas, and Mila Milana Vin in New York. Editing by Shumit uh, Chasher Chatterjee. And Jane Merriman and Jan Harvey. All right, so let's go back to full screen. So that is a story. Actually, no, we're not done yet because I did want to look up any positions in TikTok and share that with you because I want to know what is like the salary like for TikTok and what are the job postings for TikTok. So let me pull that up real quick. What we got? Let's see what we got. Mm, let's go. All right, cool. Let's do that. And let's go. I'm going to share the screen one more quick time, okay? So let's see how that looks. All right, cool. So looking at some TikTok positions, right? We're going to go to like that. And we're going to go like that. There we go. So Looking at these TikTok positions, software development engineer and test in New York, 122,000 to 266,000. Quality, uh, I don't even need this job description. Let's just look at it over here, right? Quality assurance, because I'm in, I'm in quality, right? So that's when I did the search, that's what came up. But quality assurance engineer, intelligent creation. San Jose, California, uh, 105, 265,000. Senior quality assurance engineer, 159 to 280,000. Quality assurance manager, 190 to 266,000. Seattle, Washington, San Jose, California. Senior Q engineer, global e commerce, 159 to 230. QA manager, global e commerce, 193,000 to 355,000. Per year. Tech lead, 200K to 280K. Seattle, Washington, 190K to 266K. 
Tech lead manager, 200 to 280K. What else we got? And these are for right, probably like the lower level. All right, there you go. Um, QA engineer. All these are QA, right? All these are QA. A QA, a, a, a quality solution specialist, 67K to 198K in San Fran. Data analyst, video platform, 86K to 177K. Let's see if there's any, let's just go to TikTok itself. Let's go to TikTok itself. Sure, whatever. Um, if we go to jobs at TikTok, 5,728 jobs. Let's show all jobs. We saw these already. Let's see what else? We saw the data analyst. Saw this, saw this. Data analyst, New York. Technical e, -dis e discovery project manager, 98K to 196K. Job in Mexico City. Austin, Texas. Seattle, Washington. Was this one software engineer TikTok ads 116,000 to 250,000? TikTok shop automation program manager 147,000 to 123,000. Sydney, Australia. So, guess what? Right? Guess what? Let's go back to full screen. Guess what? So, now. I don't know all the details behind what information that they're going to be giving in China, but 5,000 jobs. And let's see, let me just see how many of them are in the United States. Let's see how many in the, in the United States. Two thousand seven hundred ninety-seven of them are posted in the United States. So. Getting rid of the current employers in the United States, as well as those potential job offerings, which most of them over 100K a year. A lot of them close to 150K a year. So, I think we need more details. I think, as the general public, we need to have more details about not, not just believe, oh, they they're they're a chinese owned parent company that means it's terrible and now we put all these people who have employment with tiktok at risk because guess what <laughs> they the level of intelligence that these people are, that would be on the job market they're going to come and take your job all right so think about that and you know let me know what your thoughts. I'm really curious, like looking at looking at the job postings, looking at the with the information that you've gotten from you know our our government about the dangers of TikTok, which I don't know if I've gotten any serious information about it. Do you think TikTok like? And here's another: if TikTok is forced to sell, will all these people keep their jobs? And the ones that do keep it. Will they keep making that same salary? That's, that, those, are, those are my questions. Those are some of my questions that I have with this. I don't know the details behind the national security part of it. Tell us. Tell us what it is. That's what it is. I will go from there. All right? Anyways. Anyways, I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, listening to me talk about this TikTok thing. I'm curious to hear your thoughts, your feelings, all that good stuff. And let me know in the chat. Am I am I totally off on this? Am, am I like, oh, you know, I don't have all the information, so I can't have, I can't be. Safe. I mean, I didn't I didn't take any particular position. I'm I'm just questioning it. All I'm doing is questioning it. I want more information before I can make a, a sound decision. You see, I, I, I'm in QA. I'm in QA, so I I question everything. 
I don't, I don't believe anything. I, I question it all. And you should too. You should too. You should not just believe what they're telling you. Ask for evidence. Ask for details. Ask for data. Ask for proof. Because for us to, you know, get rid of almost 3,000 jobs that are open in the United States with well-paying salaries, technical jobs, STEM-related jobs, and to put all the content creators who make money in the United States off of TikTok, to put them out of that income, especially when the economy is already not, like, allegedly is doing great on paper, but what is it like how like what is it for for real people see people are not paper i i heard a story the other day people taking like sw swapping out the cartons of eggs at walmart and stuff like that putting the putting the 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 more expensive the the brown eggs in the cheap cartons in the white egg cartons like, people are hurting out there. And we're going to be banning companies, forcing them to sell because we fear what might happen. I just want, I just want more evidence and proof. Anyways, that's it for today. I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. Like I said, let me know in the comments what you think. Do me a favor on your way out, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you can know every single time that we go live and drop new content. And if you want to level up your technical skills, go over to www.techcoachralph.dev where we can link together, we can join forces, and we can go out there and win. That is what we do here every single day. But on that note, this is Tech Coach Ralph with another Bug Bite episode. We are out. If you enjoyed the fascinating information shared in this video and you want more, be sure to hit the subscribe button to Tech Coach Ralph to be notified for new videos.